Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on using the sine rule to find unknown sides in non right angle triangles. Now hopefully you've watched my previous videos or encountered trigonometry when we have right angle triangles and for example we might have say an angle like that might be 60 degrees and you might have one of the lengths so this is 5 and you're trying to find one of the other lengths. And we use something called like Sokotoa, so sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse, etc. However, Sokotoa is only applicable to right angle triangles. So what do we do if we don't have a non-right angle triangle? And we have separate formulae for this. So there's one thing called the sine rule. And let me write the sine rule first, and then we'll see how we can apply it to this triangle and why we would use the sine rule here. Now, just before I introduce the formula for this, I need to tell you how we label the sides of this triangle. Because we need for right angle triangles, we'd have like a hypotenuse, an opposite, and an adjacent. But it's not so clear what the hypotenuse here is, or the opposite, or the adjacent. We only have a hypotenuse when we have a right angle triangle. So this is how we label the sides. Let's say we label the three sides of the triangle A, B, and C using lowercase letters. Then each side's opposite angle would be the capital form of that letter. So opposite A would be the angle capital A, opposite B would be the angle capital B, and opposite the C would be capital C. And that's how we label a non-right-angled triangle. Now, if you've got a non-right-angled triangle, this is what the sine rule is, and I'll explain how to use it in a second. A over sine A is equal to B over sine of capital B. So this is the sine rule. And what that's basically saying is that if we take any side of this triangle and divide it by the sine of the opposite angle, we always get the same result for any three of these pairs. And we can use the sine rule when you have a side and an opposite angle pair. So in this particular triangle here, look, we've got a side and an opposite angle pair. We've got a side and an opposite angle pair. So if you have two side opposite angle pairs like we do here, that's when we can use the sine rule, either to find an unknown side or an unknown angle. So all we need to do now is to label this. So step one is to label your sides. And then step two is to use the sine rule. So we're gonna use A and B. So this is gonna be the side A. And then this other side that we know is going to be the side B. It doesn't matter which way A and B are around. However, opposite side A has to be angle capital A. And opposite side little b has to be angle capital B. They have to match. And then we're going to substitute into the sine rule. So we've got A over sine of capital A. So A, which is 8, over sine of the opposite angle. So sine of 114 equals B, so the X over the sine of its opposite angle. So x over sine of 40 degrees. Now it just becomes a sort of solving an equation type problem. We want to get x on its own to solve for x. Now x is being divided by sine of 40. We want to get rid of that over sine of 40. So we're going to multiply both sides by sine 40. So that means x is going to be this 8 over sine 114 multiplied by sine of 40 and then we can just shove that in our calculator making sure that your calculator is in degrees mode if you're using a casio calculator there should be a little d at the top so let's do that 8 over sine of 114 multiplied by sine of 40 making sure you close the brackets and that gives you 5.6 and it's only to one decimal place so it's 5.6 and there's no unit at all so that is the final answer